Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Well, we do have an updated version of the Uncovered Jailbreak version 5.0.1 currently available for us to download and to install. But currently at the moment, there is isn't an actual way to download uh, just the actual application onto your device without the need of a computer. So we are going to be using the alt store for the moment But I did I definitely wanted to give you just a quick update that version 5.0.1 is currently out for the uncovered jailbreak now this Update fixes a couple of bugs within their system So this is a full-fledged jailbreak and I'm going to show you guys real quick on how to get this installed onto your device Now if you haven't checked out my previous video on the uncovered jailbreak What you can do is I'll leave a link in the description down below make sure that you guys do check that out You will do you will need the aid of a computer You will need the alt store and then the actual uncovered jailbreak app now I'm going to show you guys how to get the app onto your device with the aid of a computer Again, once an, once a version or once a method is available for us to download the actual application onto our devices without the aid of a computer, then I'm going to go ahead and leave a video for you guys on that matter. But currently at the moment, that's just not the case. Everybody's fighting for certificates. They're getting revoked. It's just kind of it's kind of a mess at the moment. If you post a video of, about the matter, about getting the jailbreak on your device without a computer, you're probably going to be running into some issues where the actual application won't install and it will say unable to install. That's just where we're at at this moment in time. Things can change just by minute by minute so it just it really depends on how fast people work and how quickly they are able to get an actual dedicated application out so usually the headhunters and the forerunners in this are the app valley folks and the ignition people so if you guys are currently uh if you guys do know about ignition or app valley make sure that you do follow them on twitter make sure you leave them a like and try to do your best to support them as well too because they're an ama they're amazing teams that are doing their best to try to get this application working for us so currently Currently at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and get the alt store back onto my iDevice. What I have done is I've actually reset my device just so I can show you guys that the jailbreak does in fact work. If you try to even launch up Cydia, it will go ahead and crash right there. So I am currently not in a jailbroken state. I have restarted my device, which is just to make sure that everybody does know that this jailbreak is, an un is a semi-untethered jailbreak, meaning that if you do turn off your device and then turn it back on, completely or reboot your device, you will have to reinitiate the jailbreak process again. So meaning that the jailbreak app will stay, the uncovered app will stay on your device, but you will need to make sure that you hit the jailbreak button if you ever reboot or if your battery runs out and you need to restart your device. Your device will revert back to a normal state if you have different themes. So you'll see normal icons. You just need to make sure that you hit the reboot or the re-jailbreak button. Nothing too crazy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Again, I'm going to go ahead and get the actual app or the actual alt store application onto my device. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my credentials real fast. So now that we have the alt store on our device, it will automatically show up. Just make sure that as an untrusted developer, that you need to make sure that you go ahead and navigate over into settings under device management, under general, make sure that you do trust the developer application and then go ahead and back out and you should be able to launch up the application as you would. Now, unfortunately, I wish there was a way that the, the from portrait to landscape would switch up, but unfortunately that's just not the case. So what I'm gonna do is back out we are going to navigate back over to uncover.dev and we are going to download version 5.0.1. So from here, let's go ahead and hit the download bar. We'll hit the download the IPA. And from there, you should notice that in your task manager bar, it is a pretty quick download. So if you do see it, it should come up pretty quick. Actually, it's actually pretty quick. It's about 43 megabytes in size. Let's go ahead and hit the magnifying glass there. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and tap on the application. It will read, it will redirect you over to your files app. So make sure that you do tap on the application, hit the share option. And then from the share option, you're going to scroll over to, you see copy to alt store, and it should automatically copy to alt store. Now you will need to plug in the Apple ID and the password that you use to install the app store in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and do so right now. Perfect. Now upon entering your credentials correctly, you should see under the My Apps that the application will start to install and the actual Uncover application will show up as sideloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out and go into our Uncover jailbreak application here. We're on version 5.0.1 and we're gonna go ahead and update. So we're gonna hit the jailbreak button right here. 
the jailbreak should go ahead and commence. Make sure that you guys do support everything Apple Pro and the Uncovered Jailbreak team on Twitter. And if you guys do have a chance, check out the different cases. Actually, I'm thinking about doing a little gift or a little tutorial. Not a tutorial, but a little uh, giveaway when it comes to these cases. And I got to say, this is probably the funnest part of the little jailbreak now. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and hit the X button here. And it says the jailbreak completed. There was no error occurred. The device will now reboot into the jailbroken state. So hit OK. And you should see your device go ahead and respring. And then if it reboots uh, like so, go ahead and make sure that you can run Cydia. If not, then you will need to initiate the jailbreak again. So let's go ahead and plug in my passcode real quick. Go ahead and launch up Cydia. And Cydia launches up perfectly so the jailbreak did take in fact the first time so there wasn't any sort of second time that we would need so it looks like that might have been the bug that was fixed but for me it have it worked out for the first time so i hope you guys do like this video hope you guys like this little tutorial on the matter if you guys did please leave a like comment subscribe if you have any questions any problems please let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll do my very best to make sure that i assist you folks have a good rest of your day happy memorial weekend guys take care peace